Hello and welcome to Stansted Airport College. Uh, whether you're an apprentice engineer or whether you're a full-time learner in the engineering department, you'll be using an e-portfolio system called OneFile, which will store all of your work and provide you with all the resources that you will need to see you through the course whilst you're here at college. So this is going to be a quick overview of how to use OneFile, the e-portfolio and resource access system. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we're just going to go onto the internet and use Google to search for one file. So I'm just going to type in one file. And the top result here is one file ePortfolio login. So I'll click on that. And this is where the college will provide you with your username and your password to log into the one file system. As a member of staff, I have multiple accounts in one file. Uh, you'll just have the one as a, a learner. So I'll log into my account as a learner. And this is what you'll see when you first log in. Only one place to go, really, and that is uh, over to the far left hand side where it says tasks. Uh, if that doesn't appear for any reason, then it could be that the window is collapsed. So you can just click on or tap on with the iPad the three bars to open that up and tap on tasks and you'll see that uh, I have two tasks to complete. So my first task is to update my profile information. So you can do that at any time. Uh, it means you can upload your picture and your contact details to OneFile. This is my first assessment task here. So uh, if I click on that, That will open up and it will give me my first assessment task. So I've got a set of questions here to answer. Now, the, the, the tasks that can come to you can either be practical tasks, in which case you know create a little word based, Microsoft Word based storyboards to upload, or they can be questions. So this particular example uh, is uh, questions that I need to answer. So I've been doing a little bit of work on this. Uh, I've got a couple of questions that I still need to answer and I'm a bit stuck on uh, what the answer is to them. So this is where I can access resources in one file. So going over to the far left menu bar again, I can tap on the little filing cabinet marked resources. And I can see my particular course there, PEO, so I'll open that up. And there are all of the units that make up my course. So I'm working on unit one at the moment, working safely. So I open that up. And there I can find study resources, materials, guides and links to the Internet that will support me in studying and understanding the underpinning knowledge required to meet this particular unit. So I can just tap on any of those to open them up and study that material further. If I want to go back to another unit, just click the up arrow and I go back to the list of units. OK, so I'm going to go back to my assessment task now and just click on to open that up. Now I'm happy with all of my answers to my questions here. There's one question I've got here still to answer, which is describe the warning signs for the main groups and hazards and substances, classified packaging, labeling and dangerous substance and regulations. So I've actually done a little drawing to help that because I think it was easier to explain with drawings. Uh, and I've done that and saved it as a Word document. So I'm going to select an attachment to answer this particular question. So click on attachments or tap on attachments if you're on an iPad. Select the file. This is your location where your document or pictures or video or evidence is. So there's my particular document on safety side. So that's uploaded. Now the beauty of this system is once you've uploaded a document, it sits in your portfolio forever then. So you might be able to use that evidence in other units. Uh, so you don't need to, to reattach that once you've attached it once. So I'm happy that that's the document I want. I click on attach. And one file will take me back to my questions again. So now the third question there, which I hadn't answered. I'll just put a little note in there for my assessor. Please see attached. 
And so that's my attached document there. So I'm nearly finished now. Uh, we'll carry on down to the bottom here. And I think there's one more question there that I need to answer. Now, if you haven't got time to finish the questions all in one go or the assignment, or you're just doing a, a bit of work on an assignment task, go down to the very, very bottom. Do not tick on completion. So never tick that until you're happy that everything has been completed and you want to send the work to your teacher. If you just want to finish work for today, it's save and quit. It says you've not signed the page. Are you sure you want to quit? So I'm just going to say yes. And now I can log out of my portfolio and continue with that work another day. So when I log back in on another day, it will still be there as a task to complete. So I click on it again to open it up. And I'll scroll further down. There's the document that I attached for question three. Coming right down to the bottom to one question there that I haven't answered. Explain to whom they should report in the event of problems they cannot resolve. So I'm just going to put my answer in there. Uh, I should report to the workshop supervisor technician or my teacher. So I'm happy that I've answered all of these questions correctly now. And I'm going to come right down to the very bottom. I need to put before I can submit it to my teacher how long I've spent on this. So uh, I've spent about two and a half hours on this. So um, let's put in there. Hundred. And uh, I'm happy with this, so I'm going to tick it. That's my signature, my electronic signature to say this is all my own work and I'm uh, happy that it's complete. And then I click save and quit. And that work is then sent to my teacher and you can see that task has now disappeared. So I'm now finished for the day. I go to my log out button and log out of one file. I'll just log out of my account completely. So there we go. Uh, that's pretty simple function. Hopefully that helps. You can watch the video over and over again. So if you've uh, forgotten any of that, you can have a repeat of it. Hope you have lots of fun in your course and hope you do well. Uh, looking forward to seeing some of your work coming in on one file and the practical work that you're doing in the workshop. Bye for now.